Alright, so in this video I want to show you how to bring in a point cloud into Revit. So in this case we can bring in uh, the only the PCG files uh, that, that is Autodesk's format. So, but what I've got, what I've got to start with is the Faro files and I can start with a Faro laser scan, an FLS file, or I can start with a Faro workspace which is an FWS file. Uh, the difference is that the workspace is the entire project. So I can't bring that in natively. It has to convert to that PCG file. So depending on the size of the file that conversion may take some time. So through the magic of video I'm, I've edited out some of that time. So now that it has successfully created that PCG file I'm going to go ahead and select that point cloud command and import that PCG that I just created. And I can zoom to the extents of the file. And there's just a whole lot of data in there. What I'll do is zoom in just to show you that it's in there. We can spin it around using the shift plus the middle mouse key or we can use the view cube over in the upper right hand corner of the graphic window. But the question comes, what do I do with the point cloud once it's in here? So with Revit, what I can do is set my, my floor levels. So to do this, I'm going to switch over to the um, elevation view and I'm going to move my point cloud down by selecting on a point that I can readily identify as the the first floor level and I move it down to the zero to the to the uh, first floor level and then using the same command I'm going to go ahead and move the second floor level up to a point that I can see is the second floor and from there I can crop out whatever else, whatever I need and I'm left with the beginning of my uh, my model so I can I can flip up to a uh, first floor plan and I've got an as-built of the first floor and I can flip to the second floor plan and I've got an as-built of the second floor